There's Dal eating some nuts. These nuts. Look at him go. He's my buddy. Adventures with Andy would like to present to you Rocky Mountain National Park, founded in 1915. Let's head to Bear Lake and do some hiking. Here we are at Bear Lake, beautifully nestled 9,475 feet above sea level in the great Rocky Mountain National Park. The air up here is pristine. Relax at home while your adventure can fit, continues through me with Adventures with Andy. I'm getting my nympho on here at Nymph Lake, which is uh, 9,700 feet now above sea level. And uh, we're going to keep going up because there's three more lakes. We're on our way to the Emerald Lake. Hiking up to Dream Lake, the hike itself is nothing but a dream. The sound of the water, the smell of the air. Rocky Mountain National Park. Check it out. Put it on the bucket list. Here we are at Dream Lake, which is obviously dreamy. 9,900 feet above sea level. Finally made it to the end. We are here at Emerald Lake at 10,080 feet. If I did my math right. You'll never know what you'll find. <laughs> Even mountain climbers. I bet he said, let's get it. Hey Chris, uh, Lake Hayaha, 1.2 miles. We've already done quite a bit. What do you think? Let's get it. Hiking on up to Lake Hayaha, you just have to step and enjoy the view and look at, at how Hayaha you are. <laughs> Continuing our hike to Lake Hayaha, we saw the overlook of Rocky Net Mountain National Park, and behind me here, we find this little beauty. I don't know what she's called, but she's a beauty. Here he is in the wild, taking a piss. Look at that tiny little thing. No wonder you're peeing all over yourself. Shit. Finally made it here to Lake Hayaha. In my opinion, this should be called Emerald Lake. Take a look at the beautiful green water here. The elevation of this is... 10,220 feet. Absolutely gorgeous. Adventures with Andy and Chris. And we are trying to get down from being, you know, thousands of feet high in a thunderstorm. Miscalculation. Not really the smartest thing to do, but at least we're going down. Everyone else is going up. Uh, hey McDermott, how do you like the sound of that thunder? No, 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 no. It's just God bowling. Wow, he's doing pretty good. The lies we were told as children. Let's tell them how the babies are born, Andy. <laughs> Adventures with Andy, signing off. We're all taking refuge as it's thundering. But still amazing views and the smell is even better. The little fresh rain. You never know what you're gonna find here at Rocky Mountain National Park. In fact, we took a wrong turn and found this amazing, beautiful hidden valley. Come to find out, it's where they make the ramps. 
Here in Hidden Valley, you might notice behind me the pine trees, spruce pine, and a lot of dead pine. And you'll notice it's kind of scattered all throughout. And what's happening is that there's the pine beetle and the spruce beetle, and those beetles are taking over the trees, pretty much ruining the vascular water system of the tree. And the tree can't get its water and dries up and, of course, dies. And then the beetles move on to the next tree. The beetles are native here. However, they're becoming more aggressive. And the thought is due to the changing and the warming of the climate in this area, that is why these beetles are becoming more aggressive. The rangers are trying to do a couple of experiments. Number one, spraying pheromones, beetle pheromones, on the trees so that the beetles think that the trees are already occupied. And the second experiment is putting a blue dot on the base of the tree. So I'm not quite sure what that does. She didn't describe that, but there's two experiments that they're working to try to help save the forest. And of course we have food with Adventures with Andy. This one here is buffalo. This one here is elk. Neither of which I've tried before, so I'm super excited because after the long hike today, this mortal form needs sustenance. Here we have uh, buffalo, and buffalo is very akin to just a, uh, a regular hamburger, I would say. <laughs> mm, so good. And here, this is elk, and elk is more of a dense meat, I would say, but very, very lean. Both help restore those calories that you lost hiking Rocky Mountain National Park. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Adventures with Andy. Special shout out and thanks to my cameraman Chris McDermott, as well as the intro theme music produced by Zeke Gonzalez. If you missed any of my adventures, click the links to the left. Make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button below.